Hey, what's happening, party people? We are starting off the morning early. It's like 6 a.m. here on the East Coast, and I have to go to work in a bit. So, I thought I'd go through a bunch of 20s that are inevitably going to be used for bills. Let's get to it. 2017 $20 note. I don't even know why I said $20 note. They're all 20s. Things to keep an eye out for. Funky serial numbers or fancy serial numbers, stuff with patterns in it. Issues with the color-changing ink on the little seal here with the shield and the eagle and the color-changing 20. Sometimes you'll get some wonkiness when they print those. If they're missing ink especially, those are collectible. And then uh, overall print issues, ink issues, shifts in the print, so on and so forth. Of course, we're looking for crazy errors, gutter fold errors, uh, fold over errors, uh, miscuts and stuff like that. But those are a little bit of unicorns out there sometimes. You don't really come across those all the time. So let's get to it. Nothing on the front of that one. Really clean $20 note. Nice depiction of the White House. And right up here, uh, amongst these little mini 20s, is a little constellation that it forms called Urion. It's an anti-counterfeiting measure, and sometimes there's some misprints. Go a little quicker through the others. Yeah, two, three, four, five. If we would have had a six here instead of another eight, we would have a nice broken ladder. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a zero in the beginning or end. So kind of a broken ladder, actually, now that I look at it. But something to keep an eye out for. A little bit of wet ink transfer here. Unless it's really, really prevalent and it's uh, obscuring another part of the note, I don't really deem them collectible. Another 2017 note, but 2017A. You can see that this one's printed a little darker on that eagle and shield. Really clean print, though. Nothing to talk about print. You'll see that the United States Federal Reserve System stamp on $20 notes is consistent across all of them. They don't uh, have district letters in them. This right here is a, more of that uh, kind of press through. So the serial number there just got heavy inked and it uh, comes right through. Now, if you can see them in reverse and actually read the whole serial number, I know quite a few people that consider that a print error or over ink error, and they'll pay you some extra money for it, but uh, usually you'll have to sell those on eBay for a couple bucks over $20. A little bit of fours, nothing else really going on. It would have been nice to have the same thing on the ends. That's bookends is what a lot of people refer to that as. Another 2017 A note. Nothing on the back. 7997. Would have been cool to have the same thing in the middle. That would have been a radar note where they can be read forward and backward, backward and forward. Somebody wrote on this one. I don't know where they got a two from. You're counting 20, so I'm not sure on that one. Yeah, a little stray ink above that 19, but nothing too wild. Yeah, 2017 note. Nothing on the front jumping out. Nice and beat up on the back. Somebody folded it up, so it's hard to tell if there was anything collectible along the seam. Little bit cooler. 0101. Would have been nice to have binary. So 0101001. Think of Bender from Futurama whenever I find binary notes or look at them on the internet. Got a nice printed E there. Eh, 2017. It's going to be a majority of what we'll see throughout bill searches. 2017 notes. Soon 2021. I guess some are squeaking out there. I got a few people that commented that they've come across them. Scoop that up a bit. Yeah, 2013. Now, really common across 2013 and 2017 notes, but I don't see it as much in 20s, 50s, and 10s. Maybe they care, care more because they're a higher denomination. But you'll see over inks on the third digit in the serial numbers a lot. I think that's just kind of common. Hey, cool. Little counter stamp. It looks like it was a picture at one point. But I can't tell what it is. Looks like a little globe. Let me know if you've seen that stamp before. You know what that is. I have no clue. Looks like a little A in the middle, maybe. 
Usually those are counter stamps or someone just used a stamp to show that they uh, received the note. 2017A. Nothing going on there. I like to, of course, look for shifts in the serial numbers and seals. Those usually uh, coincide together. Nothing jumping out on the back, but keep an eye out around the trees that are um, around the White House. Sometimes you'll see some missings where they kind of splotch the ink a little bit while printing. 2013 note. This one is just damaged. Don't get confused by that. It's not like stray ink or anything like that. You can tell that's just some smudge on there. We won't try to guess what that is. There's a free booger. Set that one aside. And as an aside, back in the stack to get spent. 2017A. Bunch of sevens. Would have been nice if they were grouped together. Even if it would have been like, if it would have been all zeros and then like 7, 8, 9 or something, that would have been a low serial number. I would have held on to that. And nothing there. And nothing jumping on the front. Nice and clean on the back. 39490748. Missing a little ink on that 7. Kind of wonky. I think it's where it got printed over one of the little fibrous materials that uh, are in our cotton linen mix that makes up banknotes here in the U.S. Completely different comp uh, composition for a lot of other, if not all other, banknotes around the world. Mm. 2017A, you can see it's just a huge run for 2013, 2017, 2017A. ton of them were printed. Edge of a bank stamp, looks like it's almost like another flag, right? Pretty cool. Or like a, like a laser beam being shot out of the old window there, but... That's actually the edge of a counter stamp. Most likely, this sat on the bottom of the stack. There was a strap that sat over this to hold them all together. They stamped it at the bank and just kind of missed. So don't be confused by that. A lot of people collect stamp notes. I'm one of them. If you get ones that are full stamps, you can shoot me messages at my email uh, through my website, varietyairs.com, um, or share in the comments, and maybe somebody else will pick it up from you. Also, I see them on eBay. Yeah, a little bit of kind of blending of these letters here. That's normal because, you know, it's small print. But if they are blurred together in the small wording around the note, uh, that is a kind of uh, ink smear, I guess is the best term for it. And those can be really, really collectible. And nothing jumping out in the serial number on this bad boy. Hard to tell with some damage on this note. It's also thinned out due to water damage. So if it was collectible, condition, condition, condition is like nine tenths of the law, just like location, location, location is business. And uh, that would really detract from the value. Yeah, 2017A. Nothing too crazy on that one. For a second, I thought we had a misprint up here on this 20, but it's just my light from my camera. 1409-0728. Not going to count that as a date note. I like to keep uh, date notes, birthday notes. Uh, we had one in the last video or a couple videos ago. Last video? Whatever. If you watch my channel, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it was day, month, and... Or I'm sorry. Year, month, then day. Kind of like this one. 1409, uh, July 28th. But... One, this year doesn't fall in the history of the United States, which is what I like to keep it in. Also, I like to really hold on to ones that are month, day, then year. But you do you. If you like collecting them in any format, then I'm with it, man. Collect whatever you want. Still got a few to go. All 20s in this one. I wanted to do something a little different. I had a bunch of 20s I got from the bank. Uh, so, you know, why not? Zero, one, missing a two. So we were really close on this one. If we would add a two instead of another three here, a little better example than in the beginning of the video, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it would have been a broken ladder. Those can go actually for 30, 40 bucks. I see them go on eBay regularly. And one of my Facebook groups, not my group, but a group I'm in, 
Um, people sell them, and they go for good amounts, especially if they're in really good condition. This one's a little bent up, but overall is not bad. So if it was a broken ladder, could have got some moolah over the moolah, right? Some sixes, a couple of sevens, but not repetitious enough for me to hold on to. Nothing else. Little shift in the seal. Little shift over to the right. But unless it's sitting off the word 20 or is like way off, let's say it's way over here, way over here, you would see that coincide with the serial numbers generally being shifted in the same direction. So something to keep an eye out for. 12, 60, 66, 35. Nothing really there. Clean note, though. Probably one of the best ones we've come across. Somebody had $2,000. Good for them. Not what this stack is. This is like 800 bucks or something like that, which is still nothing to shy at. It's just going to go to stuff for the coffee shop. So it comes and goes, right? I wish I could say I just could stick this in the old sock drawer. Don't be confused about this stuff down here where it looks like almost like a fingerprint. You see those lines? That is a wet ink transfer or a press through. You see how all these lines here, this hatch pattern that makes up his coat, it just simply got pressed through. Or it's a wet ink transfer where this one sat atop another one after printing. They're still kind of wet and it transferred some of the ink over. So if it's really heavy, I do see those sell for a few bucks over face value online. But in general, they're really minute and it's not really collectible. Oldest one. 2004, man, eons ago, right? 2004 seems like forever ago. You can tell there's no difference really going on. This is the early 2000s redesign of 20. So we got ourselves 2017A, so a newer note, kind of. And you can see there's no real difference other than the graphics are a little nicer, but this is an also an older note. But they did... Uh, Enhanced graphically kind of over a few years span after the early 2000s when they redid the 20s, the 5s, the 10s to really combat uh, counterfeiting of notes in a couple of countries specifically, but across the globe. Nothing on that one. And 2000, oh, whoop, sorry, wrong note. There we go. Back to this guy. We don't want to miss him, right? Two, three, four, five, six, another four got in there. So we have a whole bunch of really close, almost fancy serial numbers. But this is a great video, I guess, is what it's turning out to be, is a good example of what to look for. Down to the last few. Little bit shifted up in the serial number and the seal. Just slightly. You may not notice, but I look at a ton of bills, so... And nothing here other than some folds. Looks like a little bit of dirt going on or somebody laid a cigarette or something. Who knows, man? Looks like a little burn mark. A couple of ones in there, a couple of twos, but nothing really pattern-wise for me to hold on to. Nice and folded up. Somebody folded it all the way into a little rectangle to stick in their wallet or something. Nothing there. Two, three, nine, three, nine, two. That's kind of cool. Would have been cool to not have this five on the end and end in a two. Wouldn't have been a radar note, but would have been a nice trinary note, and I would have held on to that. Trinaries, of course, are exactly what they sound like. Same three digits. Hey, there's an example of that kind of stray inking. See that? Little, that little guy. So you can see how sometimes... They kind of miss out. You can also see how the print is off. So you can see how the ink is totally different shades here, which is not supposed to be the case. It's supposed to be uniform like this tree. So that's kind of cool. I'll set it aside, although I don't think it's worth more than face value. But just to kind of show you at the end of the video. 2013. Nothing in the serial number. No crazy prints going on. More of that wet ink transfer kind of pressed through there. Getting down there, last five, six notes. Appreciate you guys uh, sticking around for the video. Hopefully you made it this far. If you're not subscribed already and I haven't bored you to death, then, you know, hit the subscribe button. Learn about money. 
Worst case scenario with collecting money is you go through your bills, your coins, and you find nothing, and you have exactly the same amount of money you started with. I collect Lego, and I collect trading cards, and I cannot say that about either of those hobbies. I have spent way more money on Magic the Gathering and collectible sports cards and comics and stuff that I will never see again. But you know what? When I'm covered in my collectibles to keep me warm at night, it makes me happy, so why not? 2009 $20 note. This one's got uh, some marker and stuff on it. That is not any sort of misprint. That's just somebody marking it with a marker. There's another kind of weird stamp. O-N and then a little six. Weird. Weird. I like it, though, but I'm not going to hold on to it. I still have no idea what that is. So you let me know what on six might mean. Two, three, four, three, four, five. Nothing in the serial number. Check the other side here. Nothing jumping out on the back. Plate number one. That's kind of nice. Last three notes, guys. So it's been an adventure on this one. 2013 series. Nothing really showing itself to me on this one. Real beat up on the back. Move along. Last two notes. We'll just do them at the same time. Why not? Let's zoom out slightly. Boom. Top note, 606-37064-2013. Nothing in the serial number on that one. Back of the note. Nice and damaged up the uh, center line here. And a little bit of book reaction on the corner. And a tear. Nice. Last but not least, 3006-7018-2009. Folded up. Nothing really jumping out print-wise, no shifts going on, no crazy ink or nothing like that. Really beat up back of the note. Let's zoom back in so you can see. This one's been water damaged, so you can tell that just by that rippling kind of effect. See that? That's from moisture. So, if it were collectible again, that would have killed some value on that collectible value over face value. But nothing there. So, not a super crazy... Bill search where I've found a bunch of cool stuff. This one is uh, kind of interesting. It looks like they had a little ink issue where the toning is off. I'm going to hold on to it because, hey, I didn't find anything else uh, greater to hold on to. But also, I haven't really found anything with a, a tone issue like that. Let me know if you had better luck in your banknote and coin searches lately. Hopefully so. Uh, but kind of a cool find. And visit my website, varietyairs.com, to check out free coin and banknote price guides, or buy my book for like four bucks. It's 300 pages of coin and currency goodness. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the bee's knees. Hope you have an awesome weekend, and no one's like you, and that's why you're awesome. I will see you guys in the next video.